All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Ravens playbook. Uh, this is by far my favorite playbook of Madden 17. Hopefully, it'll be as effective in Madden 18. It'll probably be the book that I start off using. Uh, when that game comes out just like this year i started off using the chiefs which was my favorite book in 16. either way if you're still playing this game uh you're in the league or whatever you're still rocking mutt um if you haven't switched to this book by now i can't recommend it enough i think this is the best book this game has to offer i gotta be honest i really haven't spent too much time in the gun formations that's how good you know a book is when basically i put out a play out of pretty much every single back formation in this book uh the i form i did a little bit i did some things out of the strong um, the weak formations I did a lot out of and I've been winning, you know, a slew of games with just these four Formations all of them are kind of run based uh, None of I mean, I, I pass quite a bit out of these single back sets uh, But for the most part you're under center you got a full back on the field So it's a really good run based book But I haven't spent a lot of time in the gun formations and even when I play I don't really use the gun formations very much But I have had a lot of requests for people that have switched over to the Ravens playbook saying can I have some gun plays because a lot of people like to, to sit back and gun and throw the ball over the field so I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do that today uh, the formation that I'm gonna use is the gun bunch week um, I, I would say I have like six or seven plays out of this I'm not sure if I'm gonna have them all recorded here uh, to start but I definitely have a couple of plays I'm gonna put down and uh, you know, I'll try to have them all on my Patreon all in one shot, but because of my recording schedule, I might not be able to do that. But I do wanna show a couple plays here with the first video at least. Uh, the first one I'm gonna start off with here is a Ravens Curl. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that, and then on defense, I'm just gonna go random, uh, I guess random nickel, because it's a tight end and a running back. So we'll match, for, we'll match uh, defensive formation personnel. All right, so this play is really simple. I'm only gonna make one adjustment, one motion, and that's gonna be the play. Uh, the way this play sets up, the two most popular defenses are cover two and cover three, uh, and I'm going to basically split the field with my cover two and my cover three beaters. And how I'm going to do that is really simple. Uh, first, I'm going to motion over Wallace, who's going to be, uh, I'm going to motion into my cover three side. Basically, uh, it looks like it might be a cover two here by the way the cornerbacks are down, but if it's a cover three, I'm going to hit that X route pretty much right away. Perriman's going to draw double coverage. It's going to leave X wide open because of the way that Perriman's route uh, is being run. He's going to step inside, most likely occupy the linebacker, whoever's in the middle there, and it's going to leave X wide open. The, the other side is going to be my cover two beaters. Now, if it's a cover two, like I said, this pretty much looks like it's going to be, I'm going to put my circle route Aiken on an out route, and then I'm going to smart route him so it's a little bit deeper. So now I got my cover two beater concept on the right side with Waller and Aiken, and on the left side, I got my cover three concept beater. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a cover two. Uh, it looked like a cover four, actually. They all drop back. So cover four, everything should work there. Uh, if it's a cover four, I don't think there's really an advantage on either side. I think both sides should work pretty well against cover fours. Uh, but I'll run this a few times. Uh, if you want to, you can put Aiken here on a little check down or something. Or not Aiken, Allen. Uh, but that's up to you. I like to leave him in just as a pass blocker. Uh, this looks like another, actually, that's a cover four again. So now I take Aiken. Easiest way to tell if something's a cover two or cover three, if you're not aware, is if you have a single high safety like I have here. So this is probably going to be a cover three, uh, easily diagnosed. Cover twos are a little bit harder. Um, it's harder to disparage if it's a cover two or a cover four. Uh, if you're running into the speed out, though, you typically want to run it uh, from the far sideline because that's a little bit of a harder um, route to stay in bounds. So you really want to run it further away. I'll wait till I get, I mean, I'll, I'll move it over here. This looks like I would have been a cover three, but I'll move it over. This is typically how you want to run this. This speed out takes such a hard angle. You can get some really nice catch and runs if you run it uh, more to the sideline like this. You see how he comes out of that. You know what I'm saying? Get a nice catch and run about 20 yards. This route's also really good on goal lines. It's just such a quick hitting outside route. This is a route that they tried to take out of the game. It was so dominant last year. Um, that they tried to take it out, but it's still in certain plays. It's just not typically found on outside routes like it was last year. So here we go. We got a cover three here, so I know right away it's going to be my X route, wide open underneath. Might have a catch on a touchdown here if I had a, a little bit more wheels. I mean, it's a fast receiver though. But yeah, if you don't know what they're running pre-snap and you come out from one side expecting to see a cover three and you see a cover two, it's really going to shorten your cover two options. So now this looks like it probably is a cover two. So now I'm kind of short on one side of the field as far as catch and run space. So you really have to kind of know where you are ahead of time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna move the ball back to the center because, you know, you kind of want to know what you're running against. Okay, you see how it works, you know, either way. I mean, you can leave it just like it is too. Wallace is not a bad route being run right where he is. I'm just not a huge fan of it that way. I think you get a much bigger advantage 
going outside. Even there, you can see, like I say, gets caught on the jam. If he gets caught in that jam, he's going to be open anyway. Even if it's that, that is when, uh, if they're pressing, that will break the, uh, the trend. Like I said, this is a cover three, so I know right away I'm going to my X route. But if it's a cover two and he's jamming Perriman and he gets caught on that jam long, X is going to get open anyway. You know, but you would definitely, like I said, you'll run out of space. If you, if, you, if you could run this play to the open side of the field consistently, you'll have a much better catch and run. So it's such a quick opening route. Sometimes you have to wait a little while to get it to where you want it to be, and then you run out of space. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little tricky. You want to know what you're running against ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move on after that. I'll show you the diagram one more time. Like I said, it's a good idea to run this play once you know if your opponent's running cover two mostly or cover three mostly. All right, so this next play here, that's the only play I have where I motion a receiver over that way. Uh, I wish I had more plays like that, but I don't. Uh, this next play though, I'm gonna show you a play where I'm gonna motion the running back out. I say that because you don't wanna run, sometimes motions if you run them and only one style can give a play away. I would suggest uh, if you're running the ball to mix in uh, some of those receiver motions, like if you're running a mid-draw, just to kind of, you know, throw your opponent off that that might be, you know, you don't want that to be a tell. And I didn't really show a couple of different ways. So typically, I like to show a couple different plays with the same motion so it kind of blends them together and can, can easily confuse your opponent. This next play I'm going to show is a really popular play uh, with the online, you know, Madden tournament champions, they all run this play, but they run it a different way. It's the PA post. I don't know where they all got that play, and I don't know how they run that play. I run it differently, so the PA post at the bottom, there's the next one I'm gonna pick. And we'll keep going random nickel. We'll move the ball back to the center of the field. Like I said, this is a really popular play, but I don't run it the same way that the entire world seems to. I don't really know what the benefit is. Like I said, I see the Madden Champion Tournament, they all run, they say motion this guy out, and I think they like hike the ball so that it like takes a little while for the receiver to come across the middle. I'm not really sure. That's not how I do it. Uh, what I like to do, obviously, I mean, I don't watch other people's YouTube channels. I make my own stuff, so it's kind of, you know, I don't really keep up with what everybody else is doing, but I have seen that quite a bit. What I like to do is a little bit different. I like to first put my running back into any type of route. A swing route's good. Um, I find the swing route's a really good route this year uh, for throwing underneath because typically the way Perriman's running his route, he should occupy the cornerback and the linebacker, but you can always do just a straight up flat. It's the same thing. It's basically a corner strike concept now on the left side. On the other side, what I want to do, this play's pretty good just like it is, but I think that putting Waller uh, straight on a streak helps Wallace get open down the field a little bit more and he also gets open against cover three So you'll see Waller uh, beat a lot of cover three seams. So this is how I would run the play um, I wish that I could put like another slant um, Coming over the middle what Aiken and Wallace is doing, but this is this is how I'm gonna run it So uh, I already moved the ball to the center. So let's go ahead. I actually messed the play up because I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to run the receiver differently yeah, I messed that up. I motioned the running back out, but I wanted to keep him into a uh, swing because I think it's a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and we'll just reset the play entirely. Run it again. Like I said, this is another play. Nice catch, bro. This is a play where you probably want to where you want to want to run to the open side of the field every time because there's not a lot going on on the other side. So this is kind of a flood concept, either middle to one side. So I'm going to put my running back into a swing. I'm going to put my uh, put Waller here on a streak. And we got the circle route open underneath. You gotta watch those middle options there. A couple different ways you can, a uh, couple different ways you can attack this play. We'll go ahead and we'll keep doing this. I'm pretty sure right here that the triangle route's gonna be open. And he's wide open. He can just catch this and go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got our first touchdown. That's easy right there. I don't know what about the pre-read I saw that made me think that was going to happen, but um, you know, I, I picked that up pretty easily. I don't know why. Even against the computer. And we got that. That's a cover too. You see Waller just right up the seam right there. My first read on this play really is the running back, unless I see cover three. If I pre-diagnose cover three, then it would be Waller. Uh, but otherwise, my, my first read here uh, is definitely going to be triangle. So I'm going to go ahead. We can tell already that's going to be the read. You gotta have a receiver that can catch, though. It's not necessarily the biggest play, the play to Allen, but with consistency, you can dink and dunk your whole way down the field. I don't mind playing like that sometimes. Honestly, that's probably the way that I play. But you can see how circle, everything gets thrown back. Circle's gonna be open every time. That's your check down. I'll run Allen in a in a a flat as well. I don't. I won't just run him straight. Um, 
with that that hook all the time. There we go. We got that. That's a cover too. You can see how cover two is beating that consistently too. But yeah, there's just a couple different ways uh, that this play can beat just about any coverage. There's not going to really have a lot of issues. I really haven't hit that C route yet, though. I really want to hit that. As you can see, that's a horrible adjustment. I thought he was going to be gone. He came back to that ball like real funny, but I thought he was going to just break that and go. But you know what? That's why you need a little bit of a better receiver. And we got that X route there. Well, I think I hit just about everybody here, so... I would like to hit Perriman one time, but everybody knows how the C route works. As you see, sucks in there, just takes it out. So I'll move on after that touchdown. Next play. All right, last pass play for the first video. I'm gonna go with the SC clear out. This is, uh, I'm sorry, the clear out SC. I think it's called the SC clear out in a different formation, which I use it as well. Uh, this is very close to a play that I put out prior uh, in a different formation. Uh, it's one of my more popular plays, as offensive plays anyway, this year. Uh, but it's in this formation to an extent, so I'll show you the adjustments uh, that I would make uh, to make this a much better play if you're not aware of that play, because I know a lot of people aren't. So I'll go ahead and I'll pick this. I'll keep going random, big dime. All right, so this play here, I saw this play actually run by somebody in the Madden Challenge Championship, like towards the end, maybe in the top eight or top 16. I'm not sure, but somebody was running it, and I was like, man, that's my play. So basically what I'm going to do uh, is all I'm going to do is I'm going to put Wallace here on a slant and then I'm going to put Aiken on a in route or a, uh, a drag. Either way, it doesn't matter. It works both ways. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to create like a flood concept over the center. Over the center. I like the drag because I feel it pulls coverage down quicker um, to get Wallace and Waller open. Uh, other than that, if it's a cover three, I think putting Perriman into an out route and a smart routing is best. Um, but it really doesn't matter. I'm going to move the ball back to the center. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rock this a couple times. Let's make a couple adjustments here. Uh, I keep forgetting to make the cover three adjustment. Now, you can see how Waller gets open over the middle. He gets hit, hammered, though. Now, I'll try to remember to keep putting Perriman into that deep out route because it is an important adjustment. You can see there how he just kind of poops on that corner. I think it was a man coverage, too. So the adjustments, there's quite a few adjustments. They're not that hard, though. You can see there, if he gets left to that safety, he's going to beat that safety every time. So I'm going to run this a few times. Just to get this on wax. Oh my goodness. Wallace. Yeah, I find that tight end route, like I said, arched a little bit differently than the other play that I put in, but it's still really effective. It still gives you the ability to come back and make the play in front of the safety. But the timing is a little bit different. So if you run my other SE clear out play, you'll have to lab this a little bit. Because you really have to wait for him to make that second break. So that's it for video number one. I'm not sure if I'm going to record the entirety of the video today. Uh, but I definitely have more plays out of this formation. If you guys use the Ravens playbook uh, after my suggestions, use the Ravens playbook. There's still a lot of really good plays in the gun bunch. If you want to see more, hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, money shit out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.